If social distancing has you longing for an adventure, we have just the solution. All this week, Virginia This Morning is taking you on virtual visits. This is really exciting. We're kicking off the series this morning. Our associate producer, Evan Armour, has our first stop. Take a look. We'll be sharing exciting places you can explore. And up first, how you can visit George Washington's extraordinary home from the comfort of your own. One of Virginia's most popular treasures is opening its doors in a special way. Well, it's our mission here at George Washington's Mount Vernon to teach about the life and legacy of our first president. Uh, and of course, in this time, we've got so many people at home right now who are looking for content that they can trust, that they can have with their whole family, uh, that they can help use in their classrooms, that students can use, that parents can use. And so we uh, feel like we have a special role to play to try to continue to provide that access. George Washington's Mount Vernon is hosting weekly Mansion Mondays, a deeper dive into our first president's historic abode. We're doing our best to make sure that people feel connected and engaged with their own history during this time. Every Monday at noon, history buffs and novices alike can log on to Mount Vernon's Facebook and YouTube pages. President and CEO Doug Bradburn leads the virtual tour. Last Monday was the first in this weekly series. We are in what is uh, my favorite room in George Washington's mansion house. Each week, a new spot in the house will be the center of attention. The thousands who logged in last week were treated to a tour of Washington's new room and front parlor. This is called the new room. We call it the new room. It is a spectacular space. It was uh, an incredible public presentation of the ideas and the stories that George Washington wanted to tell about himself and about the nation in the era after the American Revolution. Visitors came from Arkansas to Arizona, Indiana to New York and beyond. Well, it's great to see that we're getting viewers from every state in the United States and Canada. Uh, and I'm happy to say we've got viewers in Germany, in the UK and even in India. So. Our goal is to teach the life and legacy of George Washington all over the world to people everywhere, and I'm delighted that this opportunity gives us a chance to share our message. Bradburn hopes these virtual visits allow for not only a moment of education, but also a much needed moment of escape. What I'm excited for them to feel and experience when they join us in the live feeds is to get a chance to be behind the scenes here at Mount Vernon in a way that I get to regularly. Uh, but which really is a special opportunity to, to really dig down and learn about uh, the stories they didn't know about George Washington and the legacy of Mount Vernon through the years. I also think it's a great opportunity to bring people a little bit out of their own heads, you know, to get away from some of that anxiety that we're feeling, to come together as a community where we can uh, share a, a learning opportunity uh, and, and really experience a, a different world. And although there's so much history preserved here, Bradburn says virtual visitors can also gain some hope for the future during this uncertain time. Always at Mount Vernon, we, we like to get a little bit of inspiration in our educational mix here. I mean, the founding of our country was based in adversity, and George Washington was a leader through eight long years of war, and then through all sorts of times of ambiguity as we founded the nation itself. And so Americans have always come together in times of challenge, and coming here to Mount Vernon can really give you some perspective uh, and some confidence uh, that we'll all get through this together. Evan Armour, Virginia This Morning. Fantastic job, Evan. What a nice visit. I'm looking forward to more virtual visits all week long. And George Washington's Mount Vernon will be going live again today for an all new Mansion Monday. It starts at noon on their Facebook and YouTube pages. And this time, President and CEO Dr. Doug Brayburn, Bradburn takes us inside Washington's study. We'll link you there on our site, wtvr.com slash VTM. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with much more Virginia This Morning.